Well, my dad coached me in third grade, and he uh, he said he was heartbroken to find out I couldn't tackle in, uh, in third grade, so he said put me at quarterback. Yeah, they're both really influential to me. They were both pretty good players back in their day and both came here to play. Different circumstances, my dad started as a walk-on and earned a scholarship, and my Uncle Jay was actually pretty highly recruited by the Big Ten as well, but I guess he just wanted to stay home and play for Ball State, so he did that and was pretty successful here for four years. So they're, they're both really influential towards me. Ryan and I have been good friends with each other for a very long time, since kindergarten age probably. We've been playing football and all kinds of sports together for a long time, and our friendship has just kind of grown throughout the sports. He's been one of my closest friends for a while now, and you know, playing sports together is something that we really bonded with, so it, yeah, it's really, it's really cool. This is something that, that was something that we wanted for a very long time and to be a small part of history in Yorktown was kind of cool for our class. Yorktown doesn't typically have a tradition of winning football. Sectional championship that we won our senior year. I told him we should run a fake reverse on the opening kickoff. And we did, and it worked. So I, I ended up running the opening kickoff back, and Riley came sprinting off the sideline down to the end zone to celebrate with me. I think we ended up, like our team got a flag on that play for having celebrating on the field. Not, not just me, but kind of our sideline warning or whatever. Well, here he is, he comes in, he's had an incredibly successful high school career, both in football and in basketball, and you wonder how coachable and how quick of a learner he might be, and he's been terrific in both of those aspects. I don't know what my expectations were necessarily. I knew what I wanted, and I wanted to play, but I didn't know exactly how or if or when it would happen. I just, you know, my plan was just to come in and work hard and see where that would take me. One play at a time. Win one battle at a time. One play at a time, one battle at a time. First and 10, zero, zero. All right? Let, let, let me worry about the scoreboard. Got it? All right, let's go. Bring it up. Earn it. Jack Milas got the start at quarterback, but then Riley Neal came in for the final two drives of the first half to lead the offense. the shotgun snap, drops to his own 45 to pass, bombs one long down the far side of the field. Again, elusiveness from Riley Neal escaping the pocket. guys here have been really accepting even before any of them knew I was starting I mean I, on my official visit when I came here or just first day you know guys hey come over hang out with us tonight so I mean everyone here has been really really accepting really nice to everyone not just me just the freshman class in general the amount that we've been able to throw at him uh, still so early in his career has been impressive and how even keeled he is and how he takes criticism well and how he tries to learn from his mistakes every day in practice. Uh, he's really been a pleasure to work with. You know what I'm saying? Same, that's the same thing you do to Jordan. He's getting beat up and he's cutting one. There's no one on him. You know what I'm saying? Don't rush out. Just that friendship to me is really kind of special and just to see him succeed on the football field and kind of be a part of it is 